In his first season at UTEP, Joe Golding has certainly go gone through some of the lows, but today, finally a high. You had a feeling something special was just around the corner for these Miners. Riding the three-game win streak, taking on Florida Atlantic over at the Don. The Owls were also on a three-game win streak, and they're currently in first place in the East Division of Conference USA. So this is a tough team they were going up against. Let's head to the Haskins Center here, where before tip-off, a tribute to Coach Jim Forbes, the former minor and longtime high school basketball coach, died last week at the age of 69. There was a moment of silence as everyone paid their respects to the minor legend. What a game this turned out to be in the first half of the game. The Miners come out swinging. Titus Verhoeven with a nice reverse layup. But the Owls battle back. Everett Winchester busting out the spin move, gets the bucket to go. Owls would take a two-point lead at the half. In the second, the seesaw match continues. Less than three minutes to go in the game. Game tied at 66. Sule, boom, how you doing? Should have been an and one, but we play on. Miners up 68-66, but on the other end, FAU's Elijah Martin ties things up. Game tied at 68. Ten ticks left on in this one. Miners with the ball. We're going to play here for the final shot. We've been showing it all show long. Jamal Bianami off the mark, but it's Alfred Hollins. Johnny on the spot with the tip in right before the buzzer and pandemonium at the Haskins Center. You see the excitement from Coach Golding. What a moment, even celebrating here with the crowd. Getting all the players as well. You're going to see him calling back the players to celebrate with the fans. A great statement win for the Miners. That win streak extends to four. Final score, 70-68. to 68. UTEP now 5-3 and three in conference play as the Miners continue to roll. Uh, I grew up in Midland, Texas, and I used to see this place all the time. The Don was, a, and you guys have been a part of it. The guys, have, old vets in here, man. This place was rocking. It was the hardest place to play uh, in college basketball, some would say, you know. And I thought tonight, man, the Don woke up a little bit, man. The crowd was was there. The crowd was involved in the second half. It made it hard for them to get calls and run some things. And so I know our guys are appreciative. I'm darn sure appreciative. Well, let's keep waking up that Don Haskins Center as the Miners next host Florida International. Mark it down Saturday at 7 p.m. Miners looking to make it five wins in a row.